الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم students I am your teacher professor Zakia Abbasi from Sir Sayyid Government Girls College Nazmabad today we will study a very beautiful and lovely poem under the greenwood tree by William Shakespeare this poem is taken from selections from English verse part 1 introduction of the poet William Shakespeare was an English playwright, poet, actor, widely regarded as the greatest writer in the English language and the world's greatest dramatist. He is often called England's national poet and the bard of Avon. His genius was fully recognized by his friend Ben Jonson. He was not of an age but for all time. His plays have been translated into every major living language and are performed more often than those of any other playwright. William Shakespeare was born in 1564 and died in 1616. He belonged to Elizabethan age, which is also called Renaissance or the golden period of English literature. Some characteristics of his writings are interest in Greek literature, use of a stylized language, romanticism, use of blank verse, Elizabethan sonnets, gen genre of tragic comedy, interest in writing history plays, tragedies, comedies and romances. Some of his famous plays are Henry the Fourth, Hamlet, As You Like It, A Midsummer's Night Dream, some of his famous sonnets are To His Love and When in Disgrace. Now we will study the poem Under the Greenwood Tree, which is actually a song which occurs in Act 2, Scene 5 of the comedy play of William Shakespeare, As You Like It, which is written in 1599. The singer of the song is Lord Amien and the setting is Forest of Arden. It is a song taken from William Shakespeare's play As You Like It. It appears in Act 2, Scene 5 of the play. Its leafy theme is in keeping with the setting. The Forest of Arden for this pastoral romantic comedy. Lord Amiens, who is a faithful follower of Duke Senior, sings this song. Duke Senior has been usurped of his throne by his brother Duke Frederick, his younger brother, who is very wicked, and has fled to the forest of Arden, where he lives like Robin Hood with a band of loyal followers who have gone into the volunteer exile. This song this particular song can be analyzed as a celebration of the pastoral setting for the play. It encourages people to leave the bustling bird of the court and to come and enjoy paradise in the woods. He praises the simple life among the trees and happy to be away from the conspiracies of court life. Under the Greenwood Tree, first stanza. Under the greenwood tree, who loves to lie with me and turn his merry note unto the sweet bird's throat? Come hither, come hither, come hither. Here shall he see no enemy but winter and rough weather. Explanation of the first stanza. Under the greenwood tree, who loves to lie with me and turn his merry note unto the sweet bird's throat. As Lord Amien strolls through the forest of Arden with his friends, he sings a song inviting his listeners to lie with him under the greenwood tree. The poet invites any human being to come and take time to relax under the greenwood tree and turn any melodious and cheerful note of the heart into the sweetest song that 
bird can ever sing. Here he is free to sing joyfully like a bird. Come hither, come hither, come hither. Here shall he see no enemy but winter and rough weather. In the last four lines of the first stanza, Lord Amiens tells the readers that in the forest of Arden, they no longer have human enemies. Lord Amiens is living a life of exile in the forest of Arden with the Duke Senior, who has been robbed of his dominions, dominions means power and wealth, by his wicked younger brother, Duke Frederick. The exiled duke and his followers are experiencing misfortunes brought about by human enemies. But in the forest, they no longer have human enemies. The only enemy or trouble they face in the forest is winter and rough weather, which is far less harmful and deadly than human enemies. Second stanza When doth who doth ambition shun and loves to lie in the sun, seeking the food he eats and pleased with what he gets. Come hither, come hither, come hither, here shall he see no enemy but winter and rough weather. Explanation of stanza 2 The first line of the second stanza, who doth ambition shun, addresses itself to those who are sick and tired of one upmanship and meddling people do at court to try to curry favour and win powerful positions. Lord Amiens tells them to forget all that and come and live a simpler life in the woods, near to nature. You will have to hunt for yourself seeking the food he eats, but it is more rewarding and satisfying existence or way of life than the cutthroat world of the royal court, where nobody is contented with what he gets. Lord Amien is advocating for a simple, apathy-free life, apart from rigors and struggles of courtly life. Come hither, come hither, come hither. Here shall he see no enemy but winter and rough weather. These last four lines are repeated where Lord Amiens tells the readers that in the forest of Arden they no longer have human enemies except severe winter. The repetition of lines emphasizes the point that they are experiencing misfortunes because of human enemies. Important questions How is the song under the greenwood tree relevant to the Duke's situation? Answer Under the greenwood tree is a lyrical song taken from William Shakespeare, pastoral romantic comedy, as you like it. It happens, it appears in Act 2. Scene 5 of the play, Lord Amiens, who is a faithful follower of Duke Senior, sings this song. The song is completely relevant to the Duke's situation. Duke Senior is living a life of exile in the forest of Arden with his faithful followers. The Duke Senior has been dropped of his dominions by his wicked younger brother, Duke Frederick, a human enemy. The exiled Duke and his followers have experienced and are still experiencing misfortunes brought about by human enemies. But in the forest, they no longer have human enemies. The only enemy of trouble or trouble they face in the forest is winter and rough weather, which is a far less harmful and deadly than human enemies. So Duke is now enjoying the pastoral life in forest away from the intrigues and conspiracies of his ambitious and wicked brother. Question number two. What kind of people are invited for living under the greenwood tree? The poet invites any human being to come and live under the greenwood tree who can leave his worldly desires behind 
as mentioned in the first line of the second stanza, who doth ambition shun. He is welcoming people who are sick and tired of the one upmanship and meddling people do at court to try to curry favor and win powerful positions. Such people who will be contented with what they get in the forest are invited for living under the greenwood tree. Amiens is advocating for a simple, trouble-free life in the forest where one can turn any melodious and cheerful note of the heart into sweetest song that bird can ever sing. Question number three. What is the theme of the poem? Shakespeare's themes are often expressed in terms of oppositions. Running throughout as you like it is a tension of opposites between the natural, which is free, spontaneous and wholesome, and the artificial, which is constrained, calculated, unnatural. This song is no exception. It restates the theme of town life versus country life. Town life it envisions as being dismal and corrupt, while country life is fair, clean and free from human enemies. The song can be analyzed as a celebration of the pastoral setting for the play, encouraging people to leave the bustling world of the court and to come and enjoy paradise in the woods. He praises the simple life among the trees, happy to be away from the conspiracies of court life. Question number four. What are the charms of forest life according to Lord Amiens? Under the Greenwood Tree is a lyrical song taken from William Shakespeare's pastoral romantic comedy as you like it. It appears in Act 2, Scene 5 of the play. Lord Amiens, who is a faithful follower of Duke Senior, sings this song. The song offers an enchanting picture of the natural environment. The delightful images of the carefree bird singing merrily in the treetops and the attraction of living in harmony with nature are some of the magical charms of forest life, according to Lord Amiens. He further says that the most beautiful charm of forest life is the fair, clean and peaceful life devoid of human enemies. It is a life which is quite safe from any human revelry or enmity, except the roughness of weather. The song can be analyzed as a celebration of the pastoral life, encouraging people to leave the bustling world of the court and to come and enjoy paradise in the woods away from human enemies. MCQs The season mentioned in the poem under the greenwood tree is winter. The poem under the greenwood tree is extracted from this play of Shakespeare, as you like it. Lord Amiens lived a life of exile in the forest of Arden. Apart from being a playwright and poet, William Shakespeare was also an actor. Lord Amiens tells in the poem under the greenwood tree that in the forest of Arden they are they no longer have human enemies. Number six, the song under the greenwood tree occurs in in the play as you like it in Act Two, Scene Five. The song under the greenwood tree is sung by Lord Amiens. The song under the greenwood tree is composed by William Shakespeare. Thank you students. I hope you will enjoy this lecture. Thank you so much.